an old 1994 model KLX 300 <laughs> and the owner converted it to fuel injection in his garage about 18 years ago. I love seeing old dirt bikes like this showing you don't need the latest and greatest to have fun in the dirt. And this provides a great start to my latest rant about dirt bike shootouts and those ridiculous bike of the year bullshit awards. Advertisers know how to get inside our heads and this stuff is great clickbait. Which was the best enduro bike of 2018? Or we compare the 300 two strokes and let you know which is best. Or here are our top five brands of anodized fuel tank cups. In many cases there is money changing hands in the background. The winning manufacturer takes out lots of advertising in the magazine. Or if it's online, the manufacturer's ads start rolling in the side panel. And some so-called reviews simply regurgitate the manufacturer's advertising drivel and they pretend they wrote it themselves. Of course, not all magazines, bloggers and influencers are bribed like this, but many are to varying extents. And it pays to be very skeptical nowadays. If you do look hard enough, there are guys telling it like it is, like Trevor Hedge of McNews. To paraphrase sections of his editorial, what a total and utter crock of shit this motorcycle of the year stuff is, and the regular top 10 type drivel. Need to curry favour with a distributor? Come up with a category where you can give them an award without shaming yourself too much in the process. Huh, and everyone wins. Some of the machines chosen are simply so not deserving they are just taking the piss out of their readers. Or even worse, misleading those that simply don't know any better. The whole thing has grown into a monumental scam from start to finish. Yeah. Then I came across a guy called Chris who said this in one of his posts. I believe 80 to 90% of motorcycle reviews are complete garbage. The amount of variables that go into a motorbike review muddy the water between a review and a sales pitch. Moto reviews are wholly independent upon the skill of the review rider. And shootouts, what the fuck does this shit mean? Most of these bikes are different animals. It's like comparing a shark to a lion. Uh, I'm feeling better already. It's so good to have a whinge, whine and a rant regularly. So in conclusion, get sceptical when it comes to bike reviews, magazines, blogs and especially any form of ad. Remember, advertising agencies specialise in using mind games to extract cash from you. And increasingly, this mentality is spreading throughout the dirt bike industry in subtle and not so subtle ways.